leaves are coming good, and the flowers are uh, coming very good, and the grass mm. is green, and everything on the trees is green, 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 it's coming. Mm -hmm. That tells you it's going to be a good hunting season this fall. Why? When these things come green, all the plants will grow good. And there'll be many, many berries for the migratory birds to feed, the Canada geese, the way bees, any animals that uh, feed on plants, they're going to be nice and fat. It's going to be a good hunting, trapping season. That's the first part. And look at the leaves in August. When you start to see a green, uh, red there, orange there, yellow there, that tells you the lake trout is starting to spawn. It's time to go for lake trout fishing. And the best time to catch a, a fish is before they spawn, any fish before they spawn. And when these uh, colored leaves start to fall one by one, one there, one there that tells you the bull moose is working on his antlers. The bull moose is prime. That's the best time to catch the moose before the mating season. We were talking about beaver. When, when should we trap beaver? Look at the uh, young tamarack. Tamarack that's six feet, five feet, six feet tall. Not the old tamarack tree. The young tamarack tree, you know, it, it turns green in June. When it comes uh, September, especially October, the little buds that you have on the young tamarack tree, they turn yellow. When the young little tamarack tree start to fall, start to go down the stream, that tells you the fever health is prime. That's the time they start trapping beaver. Not before, not before. And the other thing about the little uh, tamarack tree, the little buds start to fall, the white fish is starting to spawn. Mm -hmm. Now we gotta go to the white fish, uh, spawning ground, and be pair of wonderful. You know, this little, remember these little tips. The nature tells you, <laughs> For two reasons. Most species you're looking at leather or you're looking at fur. When you're looking at beaver, you're looking at fur and leather at the same time. So I can explain a little bit about the leather and obviously the fur. All right? On every animal, leather out species, Okay, like the leather is the most important thing. Whether it's a beaver's leather, a mink leather, a coon leather, an otter leather, anything that's leather out. The leather is never going to lie to you. Is what has ever happened to this animal in the wild will show up on the leather all the time. If this animal was sick, it's going to show up on the leather. If it was fighting, scars, everything's going to show up on the leather. Every defect you get on a leather is going to affect the fur side when they put it through the dressing process. Okay? Every defect, like these black marks, that's not so bad. When you get into stuff like that, you can obviously, that's a bad one. You can see it. It's obviously all scarred up. That's a damaged beaver. All those black marks, when they dress that skin after dressing all those black marks, First side are going to be completely bald. There's not going to be anything there. So for a, to a manufacturer trying to use that skin into a garment or a hat or whatever he's trying to do, there's not much he can do with it. You run uh, ones and twos. It's just a term we use, ones and twos. Then you run a good slight. A good slight meaning minor defects. Repairable minor defects, okay? So say we have a beaver that I... This one. That's a decent skin. Clean leather. Alright? These black marks mean nothing. Right down the center. What about the white ones? This one? 
That's nothing. That's okay. just that's just the way it dried. That's okay. just skin that dried that way. That has nothing to do with it. Even that, the mark from the trap. Mm -hmm. That's actually a snare. Okay. That one. You can see the thin line in it. All right. That snare did not. We'll touch snare. We'll get into snares because there's good and bad about snares. We'll get into that. These are good slights. Just because you get on your returns a grade called good slight. I said minor defects. And that's exactly what they are. Because good slights do bring decent money. These ones here have a problem. Let's we'll start with this one. Right here. That right there. When they dress that, that's going to probably be that big around. And that's in the bad spot of the beaver. Right in the flank. You pick at that. Feel that on the first side. You can oh. feel it. Yeah, you can. That's a that's like a wound, a scar. This spot here, already being a scar, is weak. Those chemicals <laughs> will eat that part up and make it bigger than it actually is. So obviously now that skin is going to be worth a little bit less than a select because they have to actually fix it now. I'm going to draw you a line. I don't know whose beaver this is. It's not hurting it. Trust me. I'm drawing a line like that. You can have holes here, here, here. Small problems, knife cuts. I'm not saying that many. I'm just saying every now and then you have one that's in this outer perimeter. If it has good fur quality and the rest of the inside area is still clean, it's still a select. When I'm running my hands down the flanks, I'm looking what they, for clips in the flanks of a beaver. This one doesn't have any. The last place here, right behind the head, is I'm getting the weight, whether it's a heavy semi or a, or a light type beaver. That's the last place a beaver is going to prime up. If it is heavy behind the ears, it's heavy everywhere else. I've been a beaver like this. What's wrong with that beaver? Besides that, there's not really any black marks or scars or anything, is there? No. Nope. Nope. Nothing wrong with it, really, on the left. See this yellowing? Yeah. Right here? 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 This here? That beaver's rotten, right? That yellowing is that he's let it sit out too long. As soon as I see that yellow, that, that kind of yellowish flaking on the, on the edges in there like that, I start pulling on it. It's all coming out. There's three weights right there. You gotta, you make, we make a heavy ascending and a light. I've already explained what the purposes are and like that. And it's right behind the head. These two you can really feel between a heavy and a semi. But when you get into a light, it, it, this one's close. But if you want to come up and feel the difference just behind the head, you're more than welcome. These two are very close. But you can see the difference between these two. So that's heavy? That's a heavy, yeah. Yeah, that third one's a bit tough, because those two are running pretty close. We don't measure noses when we're sizing a beaver, okay? So, we measure... From here to here, plus the sum of here to here gives you a number. That's the size. If that nose is left on like that one, I'm not going to measure it right to the end here. I'm going to measure it to about here. I mean, this guy's done a good job. Nail here, nail here, nail here. It's pretty symmetrical. It's pretty, you know, he's done a good job. Where you have a problem is you put a nail here, and you see this a lot even today. Another one here, another one here. Shortage on nail. Oh, when that beaver dries, what you get is this. Right? When we measure that beaver from here to here, that's okay. When we measure from here to here, where are we measuring it? Most likely, when that tape measure comes across and I put it across from that, because that side's the same as this side, it's scalloped like that. I'm taking it from the low side. And I've seen them worse than this. That's almost an inch right there. And there's another inch on that side. Now that's two inches. That's why we say stick to the pattern. Try to keep it as old as you can. Sure, it's a little bit more work. You've got to use more nails and everything like that. But in the long run, it could save you some money. Especially when you're hitting the tape measure across it. 
on a, on a borderline scale. 50, 55 inches is a large to 60. All right, so maybe it's a 60 inch beaver and you measured it and you've done this and it comes back and it's 59 or 58 and a half. And then now it's large. <coughs> There's a reason why we ask to do that when we, when we give help manuals out. Try to, just little things like that. 